Hello everyone, welcome back to Seed to Feed. March is here and it's time to think about starting the garden. Let's talk about seeds. Keep in mind that we live in Columbia County, New York and these guidelines are based off that. There are two different types of seeds, cool weather seeds and warm weather seeds. Your seed packages should tell you what type of seed it is. Cool weather seeds can be planted directly in the ground as soon as it is the right moisture level and dry enough. These plants can endure a light frost and temperatures of about 30 degrees. Warm weather seeds can be planted in the ground after the danger of frost has passed. The next thing you can decide is what plants you should start inside or buy as a seedling and transplant and what you should directly sow. Cool weather seeds can all be directly sown. There is no need to give them an early start unless you want to. That being said, there are some cool weather plants we should start indoors at seed to feed. These are cabbage, brussels sprouts, cauliflower, broccoli, and bok choy. We have found through trial and error that these have done better going into the garden as established plants because they are stronger and resist pests better. Parsley is another cool weather plant we start indoors because we like to harvest it earlier. As far as the warm weather plants go, for the ones with longer growing seasons, it is a good idea to start inside. If you don't, you might not get produce or have a very short season before it gets too cold for the plants. Here are the ones we start indoors. Celery, tomatoes, eggplants, peppers, and flowers with long seasons. Some people also start things like pumpkins and basil inside so they can harvest earlier. Finally, here are the crops we plant right in the ground. For cool weather plants, there are lettuce, peas, carrots, Swiss chard, spinach, turnips, onions and scallops, and certain flowers. For the warm weather plants, there are green beans, cucumbers, summer squash, corn, basil, pumpkins, and certain flowers. As I mentioned before, take a look at your seed packet and it should give you the general information. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. See ya!